In this video, you are going to learn how to do a stunning animation with this slide design we have created in the previous lecture. Generally, I don't go for some exciting effects in PowerPoint. I just use the basic effects but in a slightly different manner to create a stunning effect. That's what I do often. So let me jump into the animations tab and let's do the animation for the Heading the subtitle first. Select the heading, go to add animation button, and let's go to more entrance effects. Here, let me choose the compress effect. Oh, where is it? It's in moderate. Here goes. Select OK and let me open the animation pane to manage them easier. After compressing the main title, let me add a simple fly in entrance effect for the subtitle, but I'm going to customize it. First, let me change the direction to from left and then go to effect options and make it completely smooth. Just increase the smooth end, that's enough because no one is going to see how it's going to start because it's outside of the slide or outside of the presentation view. So you just need to adjust the smooth end. It's going to come smoothly and end smoothly. Let me change the trigger option to start with previous, but let me add a delay of 0.5 seconds or 0.4 seconds. That's enough. Similarly, let me add compress effect. It seems better. Okay, similarly, let's change start with previous and a slight delay compared to the subtitle now let's see the preview okay that seems fine isn't it now let's start animating this content here not only i'm going to show you how to animate them i will also show you how i do it fastly that is i'm going to do the animation for just the first square box and the icon group and then i'm going to copy them using animation painter so that it will be a faster animation process as said before i'm going to add just the flying entrance effect but i'm going to fine tune it with smooth end okay that's enough now select it double click the animation painter only then you can copy it to multiple objects so after double clicking i'm going to click on this orange square and then gray square finally this green square so we have added the animation to all these square boxes but still you can see my cursor as animation painter icon so i need to press escape to cancel this now it has gone now select this group and add wipe animation this is why i group them together i want all these four objects that is a circle shape the icon the text and this dotted line to wipe in an ordered fashion that is the dotted line should start wiping and it should end with a circle that's why we grouped all these four shapes together and then we are using the wipe animation effect on the entire group let me change the trigger option to start after previous and move this effect right after rectangle 3. Rectangle 3 is nothing but this square. You can see when I select this rectangle, rectangle 3 animation effect gets selected, which means rectangle 3 is nothing but this blue square. If you want to rename it so that you can identify better, or identify easily then i have got a shortcut for you go to home and then open select and click selection pane here you can see all the components that we have got in this slide <laughs> while looking at this you won't believe that this slide has got this much components isn't it because we have grouped multiple objects together that's why we see less number of objects than it's actually present to rename this rectangle 3, just select it once more 
and you can type any name you want let me rename it to blue square that's it just select it make a click and start typing once you have completed typing the name press enter to finish renaming similarly you can rename the group or a shape or anything you use you can also see that the rectangle 3 in the animation pane has got renamed to blue square so it applies universally now let me close the selection pane and just use animation pane for now now i'm going to select this group go to animations and double click animation painter and i'm going to apply the same wipe animation effect to all the three or the rest of the group okay now i just need to reorder the animation effects that's it now let's play all the animations in the slide that's it we have completed animating the slide one in the next lecture let's start designing the slide two